And to finish off with some financial discussion before we do a couple foreign policy things, I just want you guys to realize <coughs> that even as this is happening, remember all the money that we just lost. Remember the trillions of dollars. 2.2 from the government, 4 from the Fed, 4 and another 3 they're trying. This is trillions of dollars. On, as well as other, I think, $600 billion influxes from Trump and different things that have been happening. They're giving this money. This is the, this is the largest transfers of, transfer of wealth in American history. That comes from your pocket. That's American tax dollars that were just given to the 1%. The, the the one percent got just made more wealth in the in the last month than they have over a very long period of time. They became dramatically more wealthy when they stole that from you. Do you think that's a coincidence? I hope you don't think that's. I hope you can't. I hope you're not willing to stand back and go. Oh, I guess it's just coincidence that 36 million people are unemployed, and all these businesses are shut down, and the one percent just got dramatically more wealthy. Just a coincidence, I'm sure. But the point is that all that money. You know, think that Trump continued to, to gush about Boeing and why we need to save Boeing, even though they just had another crash. Guess what? They're giving money to Boeing from you, and they're still laying off people. Boeing is laying off close to 7,000 employees this week. <laughs> Hurts demand. Yeah, that's why we just gave you billions of millions of dollars to keep it going. But nope. They're going to make sure that their company is good and that their executives are good, not the employees that that was meant to support. This was not meant to make sure the companies succeed. It was meant to make sure the economy succeeds. At least that was the illusion. But the reality was it was about giving money to big companies and kicking back to people in your circles, like Boeing, like massive or companies that are involved in munitions and military, in, in regard to the military industrial complex. So here's millions of dollars and they're going to lay people off anyway. Amtrak seeks billion dollar bailout, right? We just bailed out the banks with your money. Just, again, just like 2008, it, but it all got covered up by coronavirus. It happened again. Now they're preparing to slash 20% of the workforce and seeking more money from the government. Moderna itself, their shares have tumbled as the insiders are running for the exits after they tricked everybody. They fooled everyone to invest all this money and they, and and Salawi sold $12 million in stocks and made a bunch of money and then it dropped and everyone's running for the hills. Why? Because it's an illusion. Because they're stealing from you, guys. And if you can't see what's happening by now, well, hell, I'm going to keep trying to wake you up. That's what I do. But damn it, guys. I just don't know what more you need to see. It's all happening right in front of you. And for those that are going to scream at me for being, you know, I'm a, you know, I'm a racist or whatever you want to say, I didn't miss in the big picture. That's fine when we wake up for a year from now and, and we're all wearing contact tracing bracelets and injectable gels and, you know, and it's all because of the virus and everything else. And you'll realize where we are and what you should have been doing. Instead of fighting your neighbor, you need to fight the people that are putting that on you. The people that are at the, you, need to, you don't need to fight the person that's in that suit. You need to fight the person that's giving them the orders. You need to fight the reality of the situation and where it's coming from. Fight the power structure, guys. Because even that police officer, damn it, it's just somebody. It's just a guy. Half the time, they don't even realize that they're doing the wrong thing. I know the part, like the guy with the knee on the neck, that guy should be, is in prison and needs to be. That guy is an inhuman POS. But some of them, I would argue none of them were involved in that situation. Some of the people out there, like the guy in the pictures that I have on my sh on my show today, like the people out there that are actually standing with the protesters, some of them see what's going on. And as I've always said, one of the most the key moments in any actual change is when the enforcement arm wakes up. When they realize that they're just part of, that they're being used. They're not part of the elites. They're not 1%. They're on our side. They're being used by them to keep the us at a distance. And when they realize that, things change dramatically. So what we need to do is realize that and fight with each other for the same things because we are on the same side. And it's just time for us to realize that.